Here are the top five stories you need to know about this Wednesday. A new state report shows Orland in Glen County has shown a big population boost in the last year. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live this morning in Orland. Diego, how much progress is Orland seeing? This year, Orleans population growth um, was about 4.9%, the fourth uh, highest city in the state. Orland is the only city in Glen County that is driving Glen County's population to grow. Glen County is just one of five counties in the state that saw above a 1% growth since last year. The reason for that is a higher demand for housing, and that's a demand Orland can meet as new developments go in. The State Department of Finance says Orland has had a 5% housing growth since last year. Back to you, Kelly. A man is recovering after he was hit by a car in downtown Red Bluff on Main Street. It happened just after 8.30 last night in the 700 block of Main Street near Walnut. These photos show Main Street blocked for the emergency response. Red Bluff police told us a pickup was headed south when it hit a 41-year-old man who was not in a crosswalk. The man was treated and later released from St. Elizabeth Hospital. Today, Lexi Cosper is expected to enter her plea to DUI charges after investigators say she hit and injured former Chico Mayor Randall Stone. DA Mike Ramsey said Cosper had a blood alcohol level nearly five times the legal limit when she hit Stone while he was riding his unicycle in a crosswalk. It happened April 27th on the Chico State campus at Warner Street and Big Chico Creek. Cosper is expected to enter her plea today at 830. We're showing the results of the recent homeless camp clearouts in Chico. The cleanup was last Thursday. Here are before and after photos on the bike path behind the Lowe's store and in the Little Chico Creek area. The city said crews cleaned up seven tons of debris between three homeless sites. Cleanups were also conducted at Lost Park. Your drive is going to be a bit smoother through Oroville after this road work is finished. Tractors are pouring asphalt to fill potholes. Crews are working on Nelson Avenue from 6th Avenue west to the city limits. They'll also improve the Nelson Avenue ramp to 